Hey guys, it's Suzaku7 here. With me is... Sid Luna, 1989. What's up? Alright, now we're back to Let's Play Shining Force CD. Alright, now, since we started the fourth chapter, we're gonna see what happens from here, so... We're actually fighting a boss right now. Yeah, we gotta... Now we're dealing with my main char the main character's uncle, Edmod. Yeah, this guy. Interesting. An interesting enemy to fight. Yeah, he's got boost, and uh, we got a couple um, new enemies. Let's see, we got, oh yeah, remember these guys? The Dairy Hands are back. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. They're in... I hated those things. And we... Dispel now? Yeah. That's certainly very interesting. Cerberus. Yeah. And I also uh, level grind some characters. I got um, Cray of Heal Level 3. Uh, let's see. Wendy, uh, Blaze Level 3. And, um, well, Domingo already learned Bolt the last couple battles, but oh well. But yeah. Alright, let's get started. He's still ridiculously powerful. Yeah. So this, uh, the main justice of in this battle, you just gotta kill the boss here. So, yeah. And I also gave a Shriek the, uh, this is our new character, Shriek. He's a lot like Screech. When did you get him? I don't, I don't think I noticed that. Oh, yeah, you didn't see the last video. Oh, okay, is that when you got him? Yeah, after you beat the Tiger guy, um, you all, you get him right, uh, right off the bat, so. Oh, I see you're still using Guy, and I like, I like him, he's cool. Yeah, he's cool. Gunts. Gun. Yeah. Because they're both, uh, well, I don't really know what Guy is. I always thought he looked like Gunts promoted a little bit. Yeah, I can see how you can think that because he's wearing the armored suit. Yeah. But Gunts is like a literal tank. Yeah. I always liked using Gunts, even though his movement rate was really bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, I call him Gain. That that's a I always call him Gain. I don't know why. Um, yeah, um, his movement rate, um, his movement rate um, normally is really bad, but uh, I gave him the running ring so he can actually move more. Yeah. How's the um, the video right now? Is it kind of laggy? It's a little, but I can see what's going on just fine. It's a lot better than it was before that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't moving at all before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can see what's going on just fine. So, uh, how tough is this boss? I mean, he's got as much HP as King Ramadu did. He um, he, like the other boss, the uh, Tiger boss, um, he counters a lot. Yeah. This guy uh, sort of reminds me of and General Ellie a little bit. Yeah, kind of. But General Elliot looks a lot cooler than this dude. Yeah. I always thought General Elliot was like a catfish though. Yeah. Because the way he looked and all that. Okay, now we need to up someone's attack, so we're gonna up. Let's see here. Shade. I hope you don't overuse that ring. You don't want it to break. Yeah. A ten. I think it's always a ten. And it's already smoked, so I can't use it now. Cracking. Yeah. Yeah, it's cracking. If you use it again, I'll probably break. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of it. No, it's a good thing to have. Yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, the movement ring. You know, they didn't have they didn't have as many items in Shining Force. Uh, the first one. Two, they didn't. Yeah. I'm stumbling over my damn words. <laughs> so, what characters do you like so far in my and uh in this game? I like I like Gaian because he's interesting. He's a unique. 
his unique class. Uh, I believe he's a berserker. Yeah, he's a berserker. Yeah, he has a. I, I like him because uh, his attacking animation is different than anything else that you've seen in yeah. the Shining Force games. Yeah, the beat. Yeah, the Belials are the same, like Shining Force One, kind of. They have the same magic. Yeah, the Bolt spell, which he's gonna use on Shade. Wonderful. It looks not as bad as when you know uh, the stupid bat attacked Kiwi and killed him. Yeah. You just you have the pleasure of getting to see that. Shining Darkness 100, who is uh, doing a Let's Play of Fire Emblem. Oh, yeah? He's going to do his, uh, yeah, he's going to do uh, some commentary with me as well on Shining Force 2. Oh, cool. Yeah, he said the game looked interesting to him. He's actually never played a Shining Force game before. Level 11 for Shade? Yeah, he's never actually played a Shining Force game before, and so he's watching my videos. Oh, cool. First video, the first Shining Force videos he's watched on YouTube. Huh. Um, yeah, I told him. I told him that um, uh, Heaven's Frogman was doing a uh, Shining Force. Had had already done a Shining Force LP, but he said he liked mine the best. So I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me. It's pretty amazing how he has a. A bolt spell. <laughs> yeah, he never had that in the first game. He didn't even have blades, he only had freeze. So yeah, so that's why he's uh, a lot more useful in this game. Well, still, I mean, you know, once he learns out of magic power, he's kind of useless. Yeah. I've, I've said it once, I'll say it a million times, they should have given you an item in this game that can increase your magic power. Yeah. Yeah, and these servers, these servers also pull out fire. Yeah. Is he, uh, is he any better than Lyle? Uh, I like him better. He seems like he's better. I mean, he has a, well, he's like all centaurs. They have a terrible movement rate on, uh, forests and mountains and stuff, but... That's a good thing about these chimeras. The, the fire attack's not as powerful. They've reduced... Oh, well, Cerberus, whatever. They're the same thing, though. Yeah. Yeah, I was. <laughs> At least they don't dodge as much. Yeah. But uh, one thing I noticed is uh, the Durahans have a dispel. Yeah. I, I don't think this dispel even does anything really. Um, unless you have like, I guess it would take away your uh, your status effects, like boost. It will only take away your like, or it will only um. Immune to um, your magic. Like if you use your magic, it will. Uh, you can't do anything. That's all it does. Oh, it, it takes away your magic. No, it doesn't take it away. It kind of blocks it. Kind of like the frizzle ball. Oh, yeah. So. That's, that's still pretty damn annoying. Is that really all Edmund is gonna do? Is move back and forth between those two spaces? Yeah. That's that's extremely annoying to watch. Yeah. <laughs> God, I hate it. I hate it when enemies do that. They just move back and forth between the same space. I wish they would just stand still if they're not going to do anything. All right, this guy's like, dead. Like General Elliot, he didn't move, and neither did King Romley do. Man, my main character's so overpowered right now. <laughs> I like his sprite, by the way. His battle sprite looks pretty cool. Yeah, it does. It looks cooler than his character portrait, which you know he still looks like a little kid. Yeah. I wish they would have changed it. It's kind of disappointing. The, se the second, um, the second book, he does look different. You actually see him again. In the second book. Oh yeah. The yeah. You're, you're playing right now. Yeah, the one, the one I'm playing right now, he becomes the prince. Does he have an actual name? What's his default name? Nick. Oh yeah, that's right. You told me that. I can't, totally forgot. Physical attack for Domingo <laughs> with one damage. It's gonna be really weird to see him again. And like, are they gonna call him? 
Suzaku or are they gonna call him Nick? Um, I, I named him Suzaku. So, yeah, I know, but like once you see him again in the second book, what are they gonna call him? Nick. Oh, man, it's gonna be really weird just to see him again. He has a completely different name. Yeah. But here's the cool thing. Book three, you can have two main characters. And that makes it easier to lose, though, doesn't it? No, you just, uh, your main guy, Nick, is the main main guy. Level nine for stock. But the other main guy, it has a, also a aggress, just like your main character does. But if he dies, it won't be a game over. Yeah, the second main character, it, do, it doesn't evolve a game over. Okay. Well, that's good. At least. Yeah, also, um, you're about to see something in the second here. You may think, um, we're going to get through this battle easy, but... There's going to be golems. Golems are going to come out of nowhere. Because I'm coming up on mountains right now. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's hands down the best. Bowie's pretty cool when he gets promoted, but when he when he's not promoted, I don't really like him that much. Yeah, I like him when he's promoted a bit more, because, you know, the... He just looks cooler. Yeah. But, ma but the only thing that Max, why he's better, because his uh, final finish attack against a dice, he can't beat that. And there isn't one, there isn't one for Shining Force 2 if you finish it off. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think so. They should. I remember uh, when I was watching the video that you did with Vicious, I, I managed to hear some of the stuff that he said, um, talking about going into the Xeon battle with a wooden sword. Yeah. <laughs> that, what kind of psychotic thinking is that? That's, there's no way you'd be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, what? We were also talking about um, the uh, secret item. You know that one item before we fight Zellbard? No, I really don't. Yeah, that's all it is is a shining ball. That's all it is. It's that hidden treasure. It's that hidden treasure you can never get. Does it do anything? It, all this is a shining ball. It's only a blaze level 2. That's all it is. That's, that's stupid. Yeah. <laughs> They actually meant they actually meant to get the item, but they didn't have enough time, so kind of just put it there. I was really. Kind of reminds me of the chirrup sandals, which are absolutely worthless. Yeah, all they do the chirrup sandals, they make noises. That's it. I sold them. I got rid of them. I don't want them. Yeah, I never use it. I can't believe someone, I someone actually commented about it, and I was like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Yeah. Yeah, he told me he he looked it up online on Game Reviews about what they did. Cuz I had no idea. I was going to just sell them, but I thought maybe they do something. And it turns out they don't do anything really. Haha. <laughs> so I sold them. <clears throat> I don't know why you didn't just kill the uh the brass gunner with treat. I'm going to do it. Yeah, Domingo to do it. Because he, uh, he's a level 8 and then Shriek's a level 11, so. Well, Domingo levels up like crazy anyway. Yeah. <laughs> level 10 for Claude. They do. The bird, the bird warriors do look remarkably similar to Luke. Um, and Bulboray. Yeah. But uh, Claude and Shriek look a lot like Luke. Yeah. Although they're different, but they have the uh, the little uh, the armor on their on around their waist. Yeah. Thing going on. Luke doesn't have that. I don't think. I don't. I've never, I've never really used him. 
Yeah, Luke. <laughs> Yeah. Peter's a lot better than a lot of people, so. And uh and he's of course continuing going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> yeah. And Peter can't die either. Yeah, so far again. Like, like if he does die, he just comes right back to life after the battle. Let's yeah. see how hard this Durian hand hits. Oh wow. Dodge it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Barely. Only did. Only Level did. 9 for Domingo. And he learns this Diesel. Whoa. He learned Diesel. Nice. Does that actually do anything in this game? Uh, I haven't used it before. I actually did. I actually forgot he learned that in this game. Because I know. I know in Tiny Force 1, it doesn't do a damn thing. Let's see what happens when I use it. It'd be funny if I use it on a boss, it actually worked. <laughs> Yeah. They're not gonna let you off that easily. Might as well just kill the Durahan before it even attacks you. It's the best way to do things. And we're coming up on we're coming up on the golems now. Oh jeez. How many how many show up? I think three. Or four, I don't remember. Only three. <laughs> Alright, this guy is dead. Level 10 for Roos. I think it's funny how you say his name. Yeah. You put so much emphasis on it. <laughs> um, I, I noticed, uh, I remember in one of your other videos, uh, the main character did like a critical hit for 36 points of damage. I was like, holy shit, that's a lot. Damn. Yeah, I actually hit the frizzle ball. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, alright, I can. It's always nice when you can one hit kill something. Yeah, those, uh, Selric, those Selric enemies are just like the uh, priest. They're just annoying. The cleric. The cleric, or, yeah, let's yeah. call him. I noticed that in your other video, you were calling him Selric, and I'm like, it's cleric. <laughs> yeah. I always, uh, pronounce uh, what the way the number, the, uh, the name looks, and I always say it in a different way, so. Yeah. Most people would say, dude, you're an idiot. It's the other way around it. That's, just, that's just, you know, unnecessary. I don't know why people would be jackasses like that. All right, here's boost. That noise is kind of annoying. Yeah. But it, it's, it does sound realistic, though. I don't know, it's just shiny thing, it kinda makes your it's like armor, you know. Yeah, I can I can see that. Yeah, but what's kinda of, what's really good about C D it sounds different than Shiny Force one and two. Oh here we go. Go on. It's only one? Yeah. One. Yeah, uh, there'll be more when we go through further. It took them long enough to show up. Yeah. I thought they were gonna show up a lot sooner than that. Alright, tell me what you think what they look like. I'll see how powerful they are. But we, I don't think they will find out because I'm going to kill them by the time that they do anything. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm gonna sneak up on him with uh, gain here. Well, they're gonna know you're coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's gonna work. And uh, Roos is gonna take forever to get there anyway. God, yeah, that's a bad movement rate. Why is it? Yeah, I noticed that uh, warriors have really terrible movement rate. Even Jaha has, a, has an awful movement rate. Whoa! I didn't know there's one up here. Wow! I didn't know that. I didn't know. Oh, oh what? That was, yeah. That's new. I never seen that before. Yeah. Yeah, we got golem alerts here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was surprising. I didn't, because I never, I never had anybody go over there before. Well, now you know the future reference. All right, let's. Uh, my main character can handle these guys so easy. Yeah, he can. He can take them on by himself. His defense is so good. Bowie's got some really bad defense. Like he takes damage like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this guy right here is just ridiculous. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why he, he's so freaking powerful. <clears throat> and that boost is expiring. Uh, um, all right, let's test it out. Let's give it a shot. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Whoa, that was weird. Unaffected, unaffected. Maybe it's because it's a golem. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, uh. they, maybe they have magic resistance. Yeah, let's go back. Let's uh think about this. <laughs> Bruce isn't gonna help you because he can't move at all. And oh they're gonna go the other way, okay. Let's see how much damage he can do to my main character. One. One. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> uh, you know you know he's overpowered and golems can't even do that much damage to him. So what's the deal with Edmund if he's the main character? Oh wow, he dodged again. Uh, he um he doesn't like his uncle to be the prince or don't don't want don't want don't doesn't want him to be the prince, so he wants to stop him. And on uh you know the uh chapter where uh fishes was guest commentating, you actually uh you don't see him though, but it was a little bit before then. Um, he says, "Stop my uh, my uh, nephew, do not let him pass or whatever." Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I was like, what the hell. <laughs> And the en the enemies are actually letting us through. They're actually gonna let us through. So, but then he comes out. Yeah, then he comes out of nowhere and says, uh, "Stop him!" So I was like, "What the hell?" Well, there's always gotta be uh, like family relations going on in Shining Force games. Yeah. Yeah. It's a this is actually the remake version. What, this is the remake of Gaiden? Yeah. Hmm, I thought Shining Force Gaiden was a completely different game. It uh the first the first two books are exactly the same as this game, but the third book's original for Shining Force C D. Because I remember seeing videos of Shining Force Gaiden where you you got to play as uh you got to play as Kane. Yeah, I was I do want to play that one though. I'm thinking about LPing that game, but but it's gonna be a blind run because I never played it before. Yeah, it's good to actually watch my LP then uh to play it so you know what to do. Yeah. Like, you know, with Shining Force 1 and 2, I don't care if other people have played it. I know everyone who played that. Yeah. Um, but you're doing Shining Force CD, so Whoa. I'm probably not going to do it. I'm probably not going to do any recordings of it. Because you're going to watch it anyway. Yeah. That was like the marionette. Yeah. I was surprised there. I didn't expect her to do that. What the hell? Oh my god. What is he? Yeah. Evil Ring. Holy crap, he has the Evil Ring? I gotta get him. <laughs> that was surprising too. Dude, I just saw a huge area of effect. I was like, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> he only used it to target one enemy. That's kind of stupid. If he were smart, he would have targeted a huge group of people. Aww. Oh. Of course. Only one hit point left. What a surprise. She's gonna die now. 21 points of damage, how overkill. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine Edmund's gonna be pretty tough to kill because he's got 99 hit points. Yeah. He has a high attack power too. 
That was ridiculous right there. I was like, oh my god, that, Musashi has great defense too. Yeah, huge defense, a lot of HP, and he almost died. He had three HP left. <laughs> Just like, whoa, man. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and deal with these guys up here since they're, well, let's distract them. Yeah, and that one's just getting in the way. I'm surprised they're not turning back around and going towards Gaian and Ruth. Yeah. What's good about Mayfair is she can actually use, um... Ooh. Aura. Yeah. yeah. But... Nice. Well, I know this is a big waste, but I'm going to use it anyway. Yeah. Because I needed to heal them anyway because they were... Alright, hold on. I need, to think. I need to boost my characters. This is smart. I need to do that. Oh, because they're all gathered together? Yeah. I wish I had boost level 2 right now. Yeah. Just don't use the power ring again. It'll break. Yeah. Alright, I'm trying to lure them down here. God, so good I got got him the uh, r running ring. Yeah, his movement rate's a lot better. Wow, he didn't come attack. All right, let's see how strong these guys are against Gain. <laughs> he can. Well, just uh, beat the first book a little quicker here. There's actually a fourth book for the boss battle one. Yeah. There is cutscenes for it though. Oh my god. Oh Alright, alright, let's get rid of this guy so I don't want that. So I, I don't want that to break because I actually still want to equip that. I don't know. It's a good question. Oh my god, the movement rate's so bad. I know. Yeah. yeah. I know Claude's gonna get killed because <laughs> it's quite obvious. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Freeze isn't going to do crap because the golems are resistant to freeze. Yeah. Because they only do like. Yeah. Ah, just so I could pr protect Domingo, because, you know, he would do a lot, get hit by a lot of damage. What the hell? Wow, that's interesting. That's annoying. Yeah, that really is. <laughs> and he gets a double turn, wow. Oh my God. Goodbye, he's dead. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure once you kill Edmund, the golems will die too. Yeah. Of course. Wow, he, he's a heal level 3. That's kind of smart, because he usually does a heal level 4.
not doing it yet. I don't want to get my main character involved just yet. Yeah. Level 10 for gain. God, his defenses just keeps going up. <laughs> yeah, too bad his, his speed doesn't go up. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Oh, actually, no, that's a bad idea because that um, cleric is going to use a freaking evil ring on all my characters. Level 12 for Shriek. Damn it. Yeah. But a good thing... Yeah, I need to do something real quick. Oh my god. And sure he's going to die because he's going to get a double turn again anyway. Holy crap. Yeah. Let's see how much damage he'll do against Gain. He'll probably do like. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Jeez, man. Oh, crap. I knew this was going to. A good thing I got aura level two. I know, I was about to say, good thing you can use that. Can I need to get rid of this cleric. This cleric, I mean. Yeah, he's he's a pain in the ass. God, this is probably the most roughest battle I've had so far. I have all my battles have been been real easy. No, no, no. Let's see. Wendy, because I need her. Yeah, she's at the front of the line, too. You know Edmund's gonna come and attack her. Yeah. All, they always target your magic users. At least that's what they've been doing in Shining Force 2. Constantly targeting Sarah and Kazan. God, I need... Jesus. I need to get rid of this guy, man. He's, like, in the way. So glad I got this. Yeah. She's one of my favorite characters, though. Damn, man. This is gonna suck. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to get him involved with the, the freaking evil ring again. Oh, she's dead in one hit. This guy hits so much. Exactly 26 damage. And my main character's in range, too. Alright, now it's time to use boost again. It's perfect time to use it. Jeez, this is probably the most difficult battle so far. Does seem pretty hard. It's been a long video too. Yeah. Finally he died. At least he didn't block it again. Yeah. Alright, now he's out of the way. Alright, let's get Domingo a decoy here so he can just die. Yeah, just let him suck up damage. Of course they're gonna kill Shade first. God, man. I might actually die the first time in this game. I haven't died yet. This is turning out exactly like the marionette battle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Now I, man, this dude has not died yet. You know what?
Yeah, it's level 12 for a main character. That's a good thing. God, I need some, like, ah. Uh. Holy crap, man! This isn't good. Whoa. That's lucky. Yeah. Come on, Roos, get over there. <laughs> well, whatever. It's damage. God, I can't believe he has so much HP. That's ridiculous. Come on, miss again. Miss him again. No, never mind. No such luck. And he's gonna continue. Oh, he's gonna stop healing it now he has no magic. God, but he, he's still back up to full HP again. Oh man. I do not want freaking Edmund to heal himself. Oh Jesus, I forgot he had healing magic. Alright, good. Awesome. I need him to get involved. Yeah. And boost war off again. And then he goes dead. It's like the most characters that actually died. In one fight. Yeah. Hey, here's a good thing. Roos has healing rain. Oh, why didn't you use well never mind, it wouldn't have mattered. Edmund's been Edmund's been killing everybody in one hit. Seven damage. <laughs> All right, let's see how much damage he does normally. Okay, good. I need I need him to actually be defense. Apis is a good, uh, okay, what the hell is he doing? Physical attack. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, good. He's not using the evil ring this time. He might not have it anymore. Might have been broken. Sucks. All right, now I need. Oh wow, she just has enough to heal Apis. Yeah, I need to get rid of freaking Edmund, man. All right, since he's out of magic, I'm going to go ahead and attack him again. He's, he's worthless right now. I might barely win this battle. Barely. Unless Edmund decides to start healing himself. God, I don't want that to happen. Ugh. You still have medical herbs, right? Yeah. Good. You're going to need them. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, you gotta be joking, man. He's gonna kill him. <laughs> Damn. You might have to get Suzaku involved. You might not have a choice anymore. Alright, let's hurt. Oh, God. <laughs> Just do whatever. 12 damage. Holy crap. That was a lot of damage for a healer. And she's gonna die in like two seconds. I know it's not gonna matter, but I'm just gonna keep. Yeah. Yeah, Sock's about to get there. I ha I'm probably gonna have like oh man, watch Edmund have like one HP then I like win. That would be insane, man. Ah You bastard, man. It was only six points of damage. It wasn't that bad. But you did just heal him, so it's like 
Whoa, she lived? Oh, it didn't matter. <laughs> God. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Get involved. So glad he got there in time. Ah! No! <laughs> no! Oh my god, please. I want to win this so bad. Okay, okay, good. He wasn't in range to get me. 10 damage. Did he move? No, he Did just... He no, he just stood, stood there. Oh my god, dude. You gotta be cho Oh my god. You need to get, you need to get him out of there. He's gonna keep doing that shit until the battle, until he's dead. Oh, of course it was a critical. What did it just say? What did he recover? Uh, his MP. You gotta be shitting me. You got his MP back? Alright, now... Use your healing ring. Yeah, so this is the time to use it. I never thought this battle would be this difficult. <laughs> I know. And this freaking cleric is still alive. It's like ridiculous. It's like I cannot believe he lasted that long. Oh. There you go. And of course he gets the second attack. Well, it's better than hit, hit uh, 10 damage in instead of like you know, 20. Oh, dude, I might win this. Oh, damn it, man. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Yes, yes, it's over. Come on. Come on, he's, he's going to die this time. Please. Yes. Level 10 for stock. I don't need the evil ring now. I mean, I'd rather beat him down. Yeah, screw the evil ring. God. He is definitely the most difficult boss. I never had, like, that much trouble. That's ridiculous. And we get a new character. Randolph. He's a good character. I like using him. Who's the person standing next to you? Uh, it's low. Yeah. Now we go back to town. Oh my god, man, that was brutal. You're gonna have a lot of people to bring back to life. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of fireballs following you. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the most intense battle. I actually like that one, even though it was a challenging fight. Yeah, it's always nice to have something that's challenging. And it's kind of weird, the perfect time for you to actually join me in a difficult fight. I was here for moral support. Yeah. But man, you were actually with me too. You're actually it seems like you're playing the game too. I was getting into it cuz that bastard Edmund kept <laughs> like, getting double attacks and shit. Oh my god. And and don't forget but don't forget the cleric that kept using the evil ring on my characters. That was a bastard. Well, it it sucks that you didn't get to get it, but you know, it's better than nothing. Yeah. Winning winning the battle is what matters. I thought he was going to heal himself. <laughs> Yeah. He had a lot of MP to do it. I don't know why he didn't. That's ridiculous, man. All right, guys. Um, all right, I'm gonna stop the video right here. But you want to try to record again? You want to actually join me in the next part? Uh, dude, we've been doing this for like 50 minutes. I'm, I'm, I think I'm spent for the night. All right, you want to try it tomorrow? Um, no, I have class tomorrow. Oh, all right, all right, guys. So this has been Suzaku Seven. And Sid Luna F 1989. And we'll see you guys later. Peace out.